Hello everyone and welcome. For a while now, I've been looking for a few good cordless impact wrenches to do reviews on. Today we'll be looking at one of those that I just got in. Now you guys know that I'm always looking for ways to save you money. I always try to find affordable tools that are reasonable alternatives to the name brand tools. So today, we'll be looking at a new brand name that I have not reviewed before. The question is, how will it do? Will it hold up or will it flop? I don't know, but that's why I do these tool reviews so you don't have to. By seeing how it performs for me when I'm using it, you can make a more informed decision and you know what to expect if you decide to buy this item. So let's see what we have here today. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Today we're looking at the Mensala Impact Driver. There's a shot of the box, very plain white box, and let me pull it out of here. And you can see it comes in a hard case. So let me pull all this out of here and we'll keep on going. All right guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the Mensala 18 volt cordless impact wrench available on Banggood, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $59.99. Now what you get when you unbox this puppy is you get the unit itself, you get two 18 volt, two amp hour batteries, you get the charger for the batteries, you get six sockets, here are six impact rated deep sockets, and the sizes for the sockets are 14, 17, 18, 19, 21, and 22. You get a little screwdriver right there, you get a couple of pins for the head right here. You get a couple of O-rings also to secure on the head. You get a drill chuck adapter to put on the head here. You get an adapter for the drill chuck so it'll fit onto the head. You get an adapter here for impact wrenching and stuff like that, which I'll talk about all that in a moment. And you get a drill right there. So you get a lot of accessories in this one package for only around 60 bucks. Now I'm going to explain all this in greater detail. Let me move all this aside so we can have a little room and talk more precisely about each item. All right, guys, now that I cleared everything aside, let's talk a little bit more about the unit itself. Now this unit is a great little unit. It has a little secret. The secret is it wants to be your go-to unit. It wants to do everything for you that you need to be done. It's not just one tool, it's three tools in one. It can do the job of an impact driver, a drill driver, drilling, all that kind of good stuff. It has the ability to do so many different things. It wants to be your best buddy. And this is good for someone that either has some tools and wants backup tools or someone that's just starting out and doesn't have a lot of money or a lot of tools. And this tool can handle being three different tools all in one. So that's something to consider when you're looking at this guy right here. So I'm going to talk about all the functions and we're going to test them all out individually. But let's talk a little bit about the unit itself right now. Now this unit, the dimensions on it are 9 inches in height by 6 inches in length and 2.5 and inches in width. As far as the weight goes, it is 2.4 pounds the unit itself. But if you pop a battery in it, with the battery, you're looking at 3 pounds. So there you go. Not very heavy at all. Good consistent size for a unit that has a lot of metal parts to it and so forth. Now this is an 18 volt brushless one half inch chuck cordless impact driver. The max speed on this is 3500 RPMs or 3500 BPMs if you're looking at the hammer inside of it. It does have a variable speed trigger where you can control exactly how fast you want to go. But it also has a speed limiter, if you want to think of it that way, right here. You can see the little control panel down here. And this basically controls your RPMs even further, where you can limit it to go from 0 to 1500, or 0 to 2200, or 0 to 3500. So you have three speed limiters that you can select right down here on this little control panel. It also has a convenient a little LED light right there that you can see, and that helps to light up your work area. 
It has a nice rubber overmold around the grip area here, back here, so it's easier if you need to push it against something, grab the back of it, etc. And it has a nice silicone overmold on the front here to protect it in case you bump it into something. It won't damage what you bump it into because this is a nice soft silicone here and it is removable, as you can see. And this part back here is a plastic for protecting the tool itself. So that's very nice right there. It also has a magnetic patch back here that you can put things as you're working on it and it'll hold it there for you. Now the unit does have 380 newton meters of torque or 280 foot pounds. So this tool is basically very versatile. You can use it for automotive work, household repairs, furniture assembly, cabinet assembly, drilling holes, just about anything you wanna do around the house or in your garage because it does have the ability to do multiple different things. So I'm gonna go into more detail on that. And one thing also to point out is that on the website, it says that the batteries and the tool are Makita compatible. I don't have any Makitas to test this with, but the website says you should be able to swap out the batteries with Makita batteries. So if you already have some of those, that's some extra batteries you have right there. So let's explain a little further how each of the functions works. All right, so like we said, this unit can perform the tasks, the jobs of three different tools. So how does it work? Well, as you see right now, let's start off the easy way. The first approach is basically, you can use it as an impact wrench, put one of the sockets on it and away you go. I'm gonna test this on the lugs of my vehicle and see exactly how it performs in just a moment. Take that off and you have your basic regular impact wrench head on it. So there you go. That is your typical impact wrench head on it right there. The cool thing about this one, most of the heads are closed off on the end of it this one is actually open and it will take hex shaped devices that you put in it. Like for example, this little screwdriver attachment that comes with it, you can put it right on the head itself and use it as a screwdriver. So there you go, that's very convenient right there, use that as a screwdriver. If that's not enough for you, if the item that you wanna use doesn't fit in the head right there, well, it brings an attachment for you that you can put on there which does take hex devices such as this screwdriver or you can use many other things. For example, quick connect drills like that, quick change drills that have that type of an end to it. You can put those in there. Or if you have a kit like this, this does not come with it. This is from a different tool that I have. You can take things like this and let me take out the adapter here and let me take out a bit. You can put the adapter or you can put the bit right in it. If it doesn't fit on the head, it'll fit right on here and there you go. Now you have an impact driver ready to go using this device right here, this attachment. That doesn't work, you wanna go further? Put the bit right on it, put the attachment in there, and there you go, that fits perfectly. Now this, you can attach it onto the head here. Showed you that. Did I show you how to put this in here? That'll fit in there perfectly just like that. So you can use that as well if your drill is not the round type, if it's the type that has the hex shape back to it for a quick change. There you go, that's easy to use. And all you do is put this right on the head itself. Now right now for me, since it's such a brand new unit, it's a little difficult to get this on because of all the powder coating. There you go. It's a little difficult because of all the powder coating. After using it a little while, it should get much, much easier. You can put it right on there, put the attachment on it, and you're ready to start drilling or driving, whatever it is that you wanna do. And we're gonna be testing all this out in a little bit. Now, this stays on there very, very well, but if you want it to be even more secure, it brings you the little pins that you can put in through here, and then it brings you the little O-rings that you use to secure the pin in place. All you do is put that right through there, slip it over it, I'm trying to do this, without letting the pin slip out, there we go. So what you do is you drive the pin in through the holes, the opening that is right there. You can see the pin right there, and then you put the O-ring over it to hold it in place. That way it is more secure and the head cannot come out or go anywhere. And that gives you additional torque in case you need it, because you won't have any slipping or any problems like that at all. So there you go, that covers that up. The pin stays in there, can't go anywhere at all. And the same goes for the drill chuck attachment. Now this has an attachment to it right here. You put the drill chuck right on there. 
screw it onto there, tighten it up, and then you put this onto the head right here, and it becomes a drill. So there you go. That's that easy to do. This, you take that out, the pin falls out, take this out, and put this little guy right in here, and there you go. Now you have a drill, and you're ready to use it as a drill. So there you go. Put the drill in here, open it up first. There you go. Tighten that up, and you got a drill. You're ready to start drilling. So we're gonna test each one of these things and see how it performs. So let's start doing that. All right guys, so let's get started doing some testing on this guy. And I have the impact driver attachment put onto the head right now. And one cool thing I didn't mention about this guy before is that it has a little ball detent on it, which is very good to keep the socket, whatever you put in it, the bits on it, to keep it from falling out. So that's very cool right there. So I have this guy attached on here. Let's start driving some uh, screws into this block of wood and see how it performs. Start off easy. These are one and a quarter inch screws. Let's see how it performs. No trouble at all. Put it all the way in. No problem at all. Let's try some two inch screws and see how that does. All the way down, no trouble at all. Another two inch screw. No trouble at all. All right, let's go for the big guys. A three inch screw right here. Let's see what it can do. No trouble at all. Let's try another three inch screw. Let's see what it can do. Wow, it sunk them all in without any trouble whatsoever. You can see right there all the way down. All right, so let's test the drilling function and see how it performs as a drill. As you can see, I have the attachments already put on there, and I'm using the drill bit that came with it. First of all, we'll start off with a small, easy drill bit, see how it performs, and then we'll move on to the biggest drill bit that I have, which is one and an eighth. So we'll test this one after that and see how it performs. So let's go easy first, see what it can do. And we drilling, there we go. So let's start drilling through this 2x4 and see how it performs. Ooh, no problem. Alright, so that's easy peasy. It has no trouble doing it that way. Let's move on to the big one and see how that performs. All right, let's see how this one and an eighth will do. guys here we go let's see how this puppy performs as an impact wrench whether it'll take the lugs off your vehicle or not and how well will it do it so I have my Harbor Freight uh, torque wrench right here and I have it set up to 100 foot-pounds let's put the socket on this guy and let's tighten it up and see how it performs There you go, you heard it, 100 foot-pounds. Let's put it on this guy and see how it takes it off. All right, and we're going backwards, there we go. Not bad, very easily, no trouble whatsoever. So it takes it off and puts it on without any problem at all. Put it back on, tighten it up. And there you go, so this guy performs very nicely as an impact wrench.
All right, guys, some final thoughts on the Mansala 1 half inch 18 volt cordless brushless impact wrench. I think this is a really good wrench for the money. Is it a professional grade tool? No, absolutely not. Is it great for someone as a DIYer doing stuff around the house? Yes, that is what it is meant for, and that is where it works at its best. This tool is great as a secondary tool for a homeowner who wants to do stuff around the house fixing things for himself. It's also great for someone who's just starting out and wants to get the most tools for the money, since this tool gives you the flexibility of using it as three different tools if you need to. But its main mission is as an impact wrench, and it performs that very nicely as you saw previously. Check out the Banggood website for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click that thumbs up button, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.